Hello everyone. For this week's tutorial, I will be moving on from 2D graphics and animation to sound and music production. Whereas digital graphics, both still and animated, work the same way regardless of what electronic device you are using, this is not true for sound and music playback. Different speakers have different frequency ranges. The two main types can be classified as headphone speakers and traditional speakers. Headphone speakers work by transmitting the sound directly to your ear through the speakers. Whether they are headband style headphones or AirPods slash earbuds. However, traditional speakers are set up in a way that there is space between your ears and the speaker, so that it will have to travel through the space first in order to reach your ears. This means that if you have a sound muffling object, like a wooden door, between you and the speaker, the volume will be greatly reduced, whereas you could not do such a thing with headphones. The other big difference besides how the sound is transmitted is the frequency range the speaker is capable of reproducing. Headphone speakers can go much deeper in terms of frequency than traditional speakers, giving you a more fuller slash richer sound experience. Many headphones go as low as 50 hertz, and some, such as the one I am wearing, gaming style headphones, can go as low as the lowest audible frequency, 20 hertz. Traditional speakers, in contrast, have a much, much greater cutoff frequency. With smartphone speakers generally being 800 hertz before it cuts off. Tablet speakers and larger phone speakers, 400 hertz. And laptop speakers, 200 hertz. Note that you can also buy external speakers separate from either headphones or the speakers that come built into your device, which gives you both greater frequency range and the bodily sensation from the air molecules moving as the sound travels, but are also generally much more expensive than either simply resorting to the speakers already built in or plugging in a pair of headphones. Now that we have gone over this basic warning, about how different devices will give you different playback qualities. We can begin learning the basic concepts of sound starting next week, such as frequency, volume, and the fundamental waveforms, sine, square, triangle, sawtooth, and pulse slash rectangular. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative and make sure to visit the other tutorial videos and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.